up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions. He say, show them where you going wrong with God at. That's my job. So don't get mad at me, because you breaking God's law. And I For not the hearers of the law are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. That's for you, my sister. You're not going to be justified before God by breaking his Sabbath day. He say, don't buy or sell on his Sabbath. You shouldn't do that. I'm supposed to show you that God said don't. don't. Get, go ahead, sis. Now, you're not supposed to be breaking God's law. He say, it, it don't matter to us if you get mad with us. You mad with God. That's where we come from. Okay? All of this is documented in the Bible. Right. So you cannot say that a Chinese man is a descendant of Jacob. That's not in the Bible. Right. He would be Moab in the Bible. Right. The Japanese man would be Ammon in the Bible. That's where they descend from. So you have to know this history in order to say that you're a son of God. You cannot say you're a child of God if you don't know where you come from, right. where you descend from. It will make absolutely no sense. Yes, ma'am, you can. Give me that, give me that in eight and eight. I'll show, I'll show you, my sister. I'll show you. Nope. Yeah. I want to show you that out of the Bible, because that's a very good question. But I still want you to stick with the topic that we want, because I want to share some things well, with I, you. I, I gotta you got to go, go in the free? Yeah, I got to go to work. Okay. Well, we're going to... I just stopped for a second. Okay. Uh, well, I want to share some things. Talk. Jerome, I want to share some things with her real quick before she go. Let's read this. The book of Hosea, chapter 7 and verse 8. Ephraim, he had mixed himself among the people. So who is Ephraim, my sister? Yeah, look on this sign. The Puerto Ricans have mixed themselves among the people. Uh -huh. Ephraim is a cake not turned. So Ephraim would represent the rest of the tribes of under Ephraim. Do you see those people under Ephraim? Who is under Ephraim? Can you read it from Jerome? No. Read the other side so you know who they are today. Right. No, I'm talking to Jerome. Jerome, read this for her. Huh? Cubans, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Guatemala, American Indian, Tamayan. Uh huh. Uh huh. You see? You see, she asked about the Argentine. You see what I'm saying? It said they have mixed themselves with the people, and they are what? He had mixed himself among the people. Ephraim. Is a cake not turned. So if you don't flip a cake, say like if you put, you're about to do your pancake. It, what color does it start off? White. It start off white and bubble okay. up. Good. Very good. So if you don't turn it, what color is the dark, is the bottom? And what's the top side going to look like? You see what I'm saying? He said that's what happened to his people. So that's why what your question is in the Bible right. because he mixed himself up amongst the other people. Did that, did you understand that? Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. All right, now go back to Isaiah 58. I, I gotta go. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I gotta make one one stand this week. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been here every Saturday. So now, I'm to get to now, what I was trying to show you is go back to Isaiah 58. Let me read two scriptures to you before you go. We're not gonna hold you long. Come on. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58, and verse 1. Bring it up. Cry aloud. Fear not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgressions. In the house of Jacob, their sin. Now give me that in Romans, I asked for 2 and 13. Come on. So who, what did he say? Show them what? Uh-huh. And what else? You didn't hear it? What are you doing, Jerome? What are you doing? Talk to me. 
I'm got a lot in your mind. I'm, 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 trust, I'm here to receive everything. You I'm can't be. Mind. You can't be, bro. If you're not hearing it. We're going to read it again for you because I want you to hear it, okay? Because if I didn't want you to hear it, I just keep reading, keep reading, keep reading, didn't give a damn if you're here tonight. You see what I'm saying? All right, pay attention, Jerome. Come on. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58, and verse 1. Cry aloud. So let's stop so Jerome can follow us. He said, cry aloud. That's why we will be out here talking, and people will think that we're mad with them, but we're not. I'm not mad with nobody out here. I'm only reading the Bible to you. Read. Spare not. I'm not going to spare your feelings if you get mad with me or you think I'm talking too rough to you or you think that I said some offensive. I'm not going to I, I don't care about that. I only want you to repent and keep God's commandments. Right. Don't get mad at me. Right. Do what God say do. Read. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression. He said, show them where you're going wrong with God at. That's my job. So don't get mad at me because you breaking God's laws. And I say, you shouldn't be breaking God's laws. God said don't break his laws. Don't get mad with me. Read. And the house of Jacob, their sins. That's it. Give me Romans. So this is our job, what we're supposed to do. Come on. The book of Romans, chapter 2, verse 13. For not the hearers of the law are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. That's what you must sister. You're not going to be justified before God by breaking his Sabbath day. He say don't buy or sell on his Sabbath. You shouldn't do that. I'm supposed to show you that God said don't do that. Get, go ahead, sis. Now give me, uh, give, me, um, give me Micah 3 and 8. Yes, ma'am, that's right. You're not supposed to be breaking God's law. He say it, it don't matter to us if you get mad with us. You mad with God, not me, my brother Jerome. You understand that? Come on. The book of Ma Micah, chapter 3 and verse 8. Come on. But truly, I am full of power. What did God say? But truly, I am full of power. Come on. By the Spirit of the Lord. That's the man. The man truly will full of power by the Spirit of God. Read. And of judgment. And of judgment. To tell you, you're doing wrong before God. Read. And of might. Come on. To declare unto Jacob. To declare on the, to the sons of Jacob. To declare to you, Jerome. And to my sister. His transgression. I got full of power and might to, to show you where you're going wrong at. That's Read. right. And to Israel, his sin. I supposed to show you your sins. What is sin? Give me sin. Going against God. Because what did he, if, if he commanded you, he commanded you not to buy or sell on the Sabbath. She walked up here with things that she just bought. Did she break God's laws? That's right. And that's why he said, show them. Judge them and show them, look. You're, doing, you're breaking God's laws. Do that mean I'm, I'm telling her that she's going to hell? No, I'm not. What is nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Ah!